Welcome back, coach. Great work reaching the end of chapter two. In this chapter, we have shared with you some knowledge and practical tools to help you create inclusive sports environments where the ideals of sport for all can be realized. We started by making it clear that inclusion is in sport is not only about disability or underrepresented groups. Inclusion is a much bigger set of issues and strategies related to the main goal of making sport more accessible and welcoming for everybody. Dr. Leanne Norman made it clear that central to this goal is the need to get to know the people that you coach and to build positive relationships with them that will allow you to cater for their needs and remove any barrier to participation, enjoyment or improvement. Leanne gave us six key strategies to become a more inclusive coach. One, focus on what your athlete can do. Two, become a relational expert. Three, reflect on you and your values and beliefs. Four, improve your knowledge of the key issues. Five, refine your understanding of inclusion. And six, challenge and educate your participants to be more inclusive too. Then we used the inclusion spectrum framework developed by Ken Black and Pamela Stevenson to show you how different ways of organizing activity can help you support inclusion in your sessions. Specifically, we saw five types of activities. One, open activities. Two, modified activities. Three, parallel activities. Four, separate activities. And five, disability sport activities. Finally, we reviewed a very simple and effective tool, the STEP model, that can be used to modify activities to achieve inclusion or to tone up or tone down the complexity. Can you remember what STEP stands for? That's right. S is for space, T is for task, E is for equipment, and P is for people. And that was it. We hope this chapter has helped you develop a greater understanding of inclusion in sport and given you some tools and ideas to become a more inclusive coach. Now go and smash the quiz before moving on to chapter three, where we will explore in detail how children grow and develop and what does that mean for us as a coach. Good luck with everything and thank you again for being a children's coach. Keep calm and coach on.